This is gate 2014 set to EC question number 6. Norton's theorem states that a complex network connected to a load can be replaced with an equivalent impedance which is in series with a current source, parallel with a voltage source, series with a voltage source, in parallel with a current source. So for NPTEL reference, you can refer to lecture number 53, Norton's theorem of the course in network analysis by Professor Tapos Kumar Patpacharjo, Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Kharagpur, and the YouTube link is given here. The useful data that we'll be needing in order to solve this problem is Norton's theorem states that it is possible to simplify any linear circuit to an equivalent current source in parallel with impedance and connected to a load. That means that if you have a very complex circuit and then connected to a load, let's name this A and B, and the load is there, we can use the Norton's theorem in order to simplify the circuit to an equivalent current source in parallel with some impedance, said Norton, connected to the load this same circuit like this a and b so this part this part is modified like this with the help of Norton's theorem to find this value of current source what we do is we remove this load and thus short it and find the value of this short circuit current which is same as the value of the Norton current source and to find the equivalent impedance the voltage sources and current sources here needs to be modified that is replaced with their internal impedance for voltage sources ideal voltage source the internal impedance is zero which means the voltage sources are shorted and voltage sources are shorted and the current sources are open circuited so this is open circuited and then you find the equivalent impedance of the network this portion of the network which will give you zn z naught on which is connected in parallel to the Norton current source and then these two nodes are then connected back with the load which will represent and have the characteristics of the exact same circuit so that is the complex network here and hence it will be easy for us to find the value of the current the load current and the load voltage Hence, Norton equivalent simplified circuit is represented by Norton's current source in parallel with equivalent impedance, which is then in parallel with the load. So, in parallel with current source is the equivalent impedance. So, option D is the correct option.